Good morning, friends, family, faculty, staff, alumni, and the Connecticut College Class of 2020. How are we? As a first-generation daughter of two Mexican immigrants, it was only underneath the comfort of my hand-me-down red tiger blanket that I mumbled the words of a college graduation speech I hoped to one day deliver. Needless to say, I never thought that this lifelong dream would come to fruition two years after my actual graduation year. Regardless, it is my distinct honor to be standing before you today looking upon the faces of some of the brightest, most driven and resilient people I have ever had the pleasure of calling my friends. As we sit here moments away from finally crossing this stage, I would like you all to think back to two years ago when most of us were on our final spring break and we found out we would not return to finish our senior year on campus. Think back to when you committed to your current master's, PhD, and fellowship programs, or when you applied to your first job out of college. Think back to when the world united in protest over the murders of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, and the world that you knew seemed to cease to exist forever. I ask you to remember these historic moments over the course of the last two years to remind you of the strength that we all possess, which is what we are here to celebrate today. We are here to celebrate both the strength exemplified by each and every one of you over the last two years and the persistence that you needed to finish the research projects, the thesis statements, and the capstone projects, all while adjusting to one of the most significant changes in educational history. Some of us persisted while confronting narratives that claimed we could never be academically successful because of our gender, our ability, socioeconomic status, or the color of our skin. And we became the first in our families to graduate college, even if it happened in our living rooms. But we are also the class who, despite all of the challenges presented by the global pandemic and the rise in racial unrest, adapted to the unprecedented circumstances in order to make the world worthy of us. Though COVID-19 unexpectedly cut our time here short, the love we felt for one another never seemed to fade. We continued our friendships and sought each other out all across the country. Some of us moved to Boston and New York simply to be near our con community. Some of us even got engaged and married to other camels since the last time we were here. The strong bonds we have created over the years have provided comfort and warmth during unpredictable times. And thus, I am grateful. I am grateful to have been a part of this campus community. Over the last six years, we have challenged and shaped what it means to be a camel. As a community, we have used our passion for activism on our campus to gather ourselves and engage in discourse about important topics affecting our nation. One example being the declaration of Connecticut College as a sanctuary campus, as an act of love for our undocumented and DACA brothers and sisters. We understand our impact in the world around us, evident through our shared desire to stand in solidarity in the face of racial injustice. And in a time where war has further divided our society, we have continued to see the value in our shared community, evident by how many of us have returned for this momentous occasion. We are a community of individuals dedicated to academic and personal excellence. The class of 2020 is composed of scientists who painted in Cummings, artists who ran the tracks of our athletic center, and athletes who volunteered in local New London schools. Even more importantly, the class of 2020 is filled with people who dream of a world that is more just, more fair, and filled with more radical love. With the support of our families, advisors, professors, class deans, coaches, and fellow classmates, 
I believe we have accomplished and persevered through more than any other class has within the past decade. In honor of the people who have personally supported me throughout my education, I would like to take a short moment to share a poem that I wrote. To the man and woman who gave me life, you are the tigers on my red blanket. You are fierce, warm, and timeless, the true symbol of a Mexican home. Let the world hear you roar, mija. You came to this country for us so that we could make this life, the life of struggle and beauty, one worthy of us. Your unconditional love and lectures, all one and the same, always saying, ponte las pilas, y si es algo que quieres, hazlo. If it's something you want, do it. You came to this country for us so that I could take our culture, our struggle, our beauty, our native tongue, and learn to speak. Habla para que sepan que lo que tú tienes que decir es importante. Speak so that everyone knows that what you have to say matters, that we matter to the man and woman who gave me life. You are what burns at the core of my being, the force behind my hard-headedness, dedication, and determination, the true defining characteristics of a Villalba, completely embedded in my DNA, para el hombre y mujer que me dieron vida. Here's a poem for you. Here's a poem for us. Performed on the only stage worthy of you, it's a small way of saying, te quiero. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And thank you for keeping me warm. As we embark on our new journeys, I ask you all to go forth with the same determination, dedication, and devotion you have shown this campus, and never stop fighting for a future worthy of you, even if a global pandemic tries to stop you. Congratulations, class of 2020, and thank you for keeping me warm.